have to turn down the game volume a little bit, so. Bear with me. How's everything sound? Is it alright? I've got the fan on in the room too, so. <laughs> Shut up, Sauce. <laughs> What's up, Gwang? How you doing? Yeah, so today, 09, since you asked, I decided, you know, why not? This is incomplete, so let's, you know, let's do a Resident Evil run-through with, uh, with Jill, because I never actually finished it, so I think that'll be fun. And then I finally got something working that I've been trying to get to work for a while, so at the very end of this, and this is my shameless, shameless uh, promoting to make you guys stay through the whole thing, um... I've got something special at the end, so this should be this should be a lot of fun. So I'm gonna give it a couple more minutes. <laughs> Your back's hurting from picking cotton all day. So so this should be good. Um, we should be running at a higher resolution today. Uh, hopefully, um, I do have it set to 1080. So hopefully, um, hopefully it looks better. Um, and then Damon actually made that little logo down at the bottom right for me, so that's my shameless promoting also, so I decided to slap that down there. So, you know, it's getting better every day. It's just it takes a lot of work, and I'm writing a lot of scripts right now, and uh, so hopefully I can have everything up and running. I've got a lot of people doing different things, so this uh, this should be fun, and then hopefully I can, you know, finish updating my website to make it look a little bit more professional, and then just start pumping out lots of garbage for people to watch, and so that should be... That should be good, so if anything, I think the stream will be a good place to to just promote my crap and then you know keep doing what I'm doing <laughs> so a lot of stuff hasn't been edited, and a lot of things that were like the articles and stuff I have written like they were those were before I learned how to write, so you have to uh you have to bear with me on some of those things. I haven't gone back to edit anything. Um, a lot of stuff's pretty crude. There's a, a big black bar at the top that that's where my logo is supposed to go, but I haven't had anything up there. So I'm just gonna let it uh, run through the demo thing a couple times. So give me a couple more minutes, and then we'll get going. And good stuff. And I finally realized, I finally figured out why uh, doing a Jill run through is always harder for me than Chris. It's because she doesn't get the fucking uh, uh, the lighter right away, so you can't really go around killing the zombies you need to because she's got to deal with more Chris. Than that, so I was like, oh, okay. Well, you get the lockpick, but I don't really need the lockpick. So, but whatever. It's just how it is. So this will be fun, you know, to revisit like my favorite game of all time. I love this fucking game so much. So, although I wish I was using Chris, but hey, this is a Jill run through. <laughs> Quang. Oh man. And then Ryan wants to uh, run some some classic Mega Man, but he wanted everybody to vote on which ones he was gonna play. And uh, I've told him just to do one through four, but we do have one through six, and I believe seven was actually on the Super Nintendo, but he actually found a Japanese port of seven uh, that that somebody made. Like, they, they took all the graphics from the original Nintendo games and they remade seven, so he actually has a ROM for that. So, um, you know, if you guys have, like, a preference in a man game you guys want to see, I mean, they're all kind of the same except for, like, one... Like going from one, two, and three, they're they're really radical games. But after that, they're kind of same kind of game over. There. Yeah, this is the incomplete. Even at the bottom of like all the games I have down, I, I actually put like you know Resident Evil, the run through. It's incomplete. So same with Silent Hill Origins. I never fucking beat that game because it was so fucking frustrating. But I, I mean, I'm gonna have to go back and do it at one point. A full marathon, Jesus. I don't know if he could do that in one sitting. Uh, I saw him beat two today. He actually came over and he played two. He beat that in about an hour, so. Um, we'll have to see. You guys want to be mean. <laughs> Don't be 
here next week. That sucks. Sorry to hear that. It's because I like everybody here in the stream. Oh, what's that? Hey, what's going on? Um, this run shouldn't take very long. Maybe two, two hours, three hours, maybe. Um, I've played this game quite a bit, mostly with Chris, not with Jill, but. You know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try to blitz through it too much just because I want to kind of take it easy today. Um, but if I mean if you got somewhere to go, I can understand. Uh, uh, but uh, if you stay afterwards, then uh, I've got some some good stuff that I talked about like eight months ago. And then uh, if you guys remember any of that, so you guys will get to see some cool stuff. Jesus Christ, the whole marathon of that. All right, so we got a little bit, about maybe an hour or so. It's okay. I'm here. <laughs> yeah, watch the replay. Oh, I mean, you don't have to watch the whole game, but if you, if you, for some reason, you're not able to to catch the very end, I really do suggest uh, watching the replay and then going back and uh, just kind of going to to the end. Um, I'm not sure how long it's going to take to get through all the stuff that I have to show you guys, but if anything, it'll be fun to see. Uh, some of the stuff you may have seen already, but I highly doubt it. So, but according to my clock, it is nine o'clock. So let's get a uh, resident, resident evil. Spermy, what's going on, buddy? Uh, Chris, my boy, with a penny in his wallet. I can't play today. Got to play Jill. A lot of people don't remember, but in the original Resident Evil, Jill actually had long hair. Her hair wasn't that short. But I'll shut up for these cutscenes. Alpha Team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we are searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team, who disappeared during the middle of their mission. Chris, found it yet? No, not yet, Brad. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. The Bravo team was sent in to investigate, but we lost contact. Look, Chris! Bravo team's helicopter was a derelict. Save for the remaining body of Kevin. We continued our search for the other members, and it turned into a nightmare. this way.
and I knew were chased by some dogs. Ryan, I agree. This does need more puppet head dogs. There are only three STARS members left now. Captain Wesker, Barry, and myself. We don't know where Chris is. What is this place? Not quite your ordinary house, that's for sure. Hey, Whisker, where's Chris? Jill, no. You don't want to go back out there. But we've got to find... What was that? Chris? No. Jill, go and investigate. I'm going with her. Chris and I go back a long way. All right. You two go. I'll secure this area. Stay sharp! Take the doorknob is right here. Barry walks in, the fucking gun he has is like three times longer than the Joker gun from Batman. 89 Batman, that is. It's a giant. A dining room. I think you'd better take a look at this. What is it? Blood. Jill. See if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Let's just hope it's not Chris's. Sir, we've been jammed. Since I've continued from one of my saves, she does have the samurai edge on her right now. But if you guys don't care, I'll use it. But if you guys do care, then I won't use it. It's, it's up to you completely. <laughs> stuff right here. Man. And it actually doesn't matter if you shoot him right now, this scene still happens, so... I actually checked it out earlier today. Barry! What is it? Look out! It's a monster! Let me take care of it! What the hell is this thing? I found Kenneth killed by this thing. Let's report this to Wesker. And this is great. If you guys remember, when you when you leave here, the zombie actually gets up, leaves, and closes the door. He's very polite. <laughs> it's like, fuck this, I'm out of here. Jill, help me look for him, but let's not leave this hall. Good idea. So, as usual, run this way around it. You can get the cutscene to trigger. It feels so weird playing as Jill. Barry. Any luck, Jill? No, nothing. What's going on around here? I can't figure it out. Same here. Chris, and now Wesker. There's not much we can do. We can search for him separately. I'll investigate the dining room again. Okay, then. I'll try the door on the other side. <sighs> this mansion is gigantic. We could easily get lost. Let's start from the first floor. Okay. Oh! I almost forgot. It's a lockpick. You'd make better use of it. Alright, lockpick. Thanks. If I may need it. Master Listen. Walking. If something happens, let's meet up in this hall. Got it? Okay. There's actually no reason to go to the 
opposite side, unless you want to get that defense item and then lose it right away. Any of you guys watch Spartacus at all? I just finished up the series, uh, of the season, season ending, uh, just today, because I had to record it from yesterday. Alright, god, I love the way this game looks. Poor Kenneth. Sorry, I'm just skipping a lot of crap, because I've read it a thousand times. Pretty much as this throat's been torn out, but we all know that, we've all seen this game. I'm actually going to collect the ammo just because if you guys... Do you guys care if I use the, the Samurai Edge? I mean, or do you guys want me to run through with just the handgun? It doesn't matter. Um, it's up to you. So, 09, I think you have the call on it since you wanted me to, to play this one. I mean, I'm, I'm just trying to get the extra, the extra saves to unlock more stuff since I lost my original GameCube memory card, so that's why I have this one loaded up as opposed to anything else. Regular handgun. All right. need it right away anyway, so. Now, sometimes I can get this guy to miss, and then sometimes I can't. Sometimes I have to kind of maneuver him a little bit. <laughs> He's used the golden eye. Let's see if I can get him to miss. No, miss him. Oh, oh well. Not a big deal. <laughs> Defense items, I love these. Good stuff. And they never brought them back. Let's see if I can get this asshole over here. Yeah, so I always, I finally, you know, I was realizing when I was playing this, I was like, why am I having so much trouble playing as Jill? And then I was like, God, because I don't have a lighter. I would much rather have to run around and grab keys than, uh, than not have my lighter. I wouldn't just knife these fuckers out here, but since the game takes away your knife and replaces it with the Samurai Edge, I'm just going to shoot these two with this fucking gun, and then I'm going to put it away and grab my knife, so. But this is just the path I take, so. But, um, you don't have to burn these zombies. These zombies just die. Again, use the stairs with the knife, and they can only, uh, they can only grow up on you. It's not, uh, and they die really quick, so these are just kind of really shitty zombies that you can take out. Again, use auto aim to your advantage. See if they're still alive. If I had the knife, I would just knife them. It's not difficult. You guys have seen me do it before. But for the sake of beating the game, let's just get it over with. pre-rendered stuff, I just wish the, the shadows would move move with it, but GameCube games can't can't you know, rip on it too hard. Pre-rendered still looks badass. Is that is that not the stairs? Where where are the stairs, Damon? Do 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 do. 
Alright, so now that we got our first key, we can do a little bit more running around. Go to the left if you've got the uh, the room to uh, the key for the costumes. You can go in there and change into Resident Evil 3 Jill or I think it's like Sarah Connor from fucking uh, Terminator 2. But there's also a defense item in there and then kind of like a default zombie that will, you know, just kind of force you to use it. For real, going nice. Yeah, look at these models right there. <laughs> Good stuff. Um, and I'm actually not going to go out of my way to get the special berry scenes with like forest and stuff. So I'm just going to use berry to get the uh, shotgun real easy. Saves a little bit of time. Just get a PS3. Do it. And normally in this scene, uh, you can just turn around, grab what's in here, which is usually a small key with Chris, and then just leave, and then the zombie will kind of show up later. But Jill actually uh, does something a little different, which I didn't remember until I played it again. free defense item with her. Why not? And if I'm not mistaken, Jill has a little less health than Chris does, and I'm not sure if Chris or Jill runs a slightly faster, and then obviously Jill has two more item slots. We all know. Nothing, uh, no surprises there. There's an item I'm gonna have to run back through here to get, but whatever. Oh yeah, Jeeves. <laughs> umbrella symbol for everybody on the floor there. Very briefly. Another defense item. There's a lot of them. Mainly daggers. I like Chris's grenade because it makes a uh, um, like the super crimson head boss later easier. But whatever. Not a big deal. Got your logo up there, Damon. was a close one. A second late, you would have fit nicely into a sandwich. Really? Thanks. But Barry, didn't you say you were going back to the dining room to find other clues? I'm glad and all, but why are you here? I just had something I wanted to check. Anyway, we should get back to searching for Wesker and Chris. Thanks, Barry. 
I owe you one. Don't mention it. Yeah, they changed a lot of the... The message is basically the same. Other than calling her a Jill sandwich, but whatever. Let's do this little zombie manipulation here so I can get over there, get the damn knife, and then proceed as usual. in time. I actually hate the way she swings the knife. It's really weird because it has a deceptive range on it, but I still prefer the way Chris swings. Chris is better. <laughs> I was doing this earlier today, one of these zombies fucking took forever to go down. Another nice piece of shit, man. But... See why using the knife is not a good option. You guys want the knife, so this is the way I'm playing, so. No samurai edge. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna go pick some of these herbs up down here. I haven't seen hot shots in a long time. And if 
you got the lighter, you can get the map. You really don't need the map in these games. <laughs> From Cobra. Price check. Oh, scumbag. <laughs> down quicker. I've had a zombie die for like two stabs and get some of these and I can go down to like 600, so whatever. So if you guys didn't notice already, they're not doing the... They don't grab you, they just do the vomit attack. It's also another benefit of using uh, Chris. You get a lot of free uh, free healing. you want to come in here is to grab that whistle. Barry. Jill, got any good news? Other than I'm still alive in this madhouse? No. Can't say it's much safer here either. We'd better secure our escape route first. There's gotta be a back door somewhere. All right then, let's split up again. Hey, hold on a sec. Look what I've found. What? A can of fizz. It's sure to yellow and mellow those things. It's yours. Hopefully you won't have to use it. Yeah, this game did turn out really well. What about you? Oh, don't worry. 
I like the buddy system we have here. I see. Thanks. I'll take it. See you later. Ciao. Let's split up, because this is a good idea. Herbs, good stuff. What's going on, Mark? I like going through this route, so let's unlock this and then get moving. Cool. Yeah, I bought the uh, I bought my cube specifically to play this game. Lighter and um, lighter and ammo. We're in that room, and I, you need the armor key to get in there. But I need. So I grab the shotgun because I hate fighting those fucking dogs with the handgun. They don't drop like the dogs did in uh, like two, <laughs> two and three. One shot, knock them over. It's a repeat. Yeah, I love the way this uh, this turned out. There we go. Cool. Thank you. Appreciate that. Well, hopefully the stream looks good right now because that was the the one thing that I was hoping would run really well today. Since uh, Damon talked me into, well, talked me into and reminded me to uh, bump up the graphics for the stream. So, Vix, what's going on, girl? So, all right, let's torch some zombies. And I'm gonna come back into this room, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, I love the uh, I love crimson heads in this game. I thought I thought that was a great idea. All right, three for one. How's that? Not bad, huh? friend right here and then uh good to go man but yeah that's why i like using chris just because the you know the, the lighter is in your like special special inventory so you don't have to carry around you know 
the second item, but whatever. As I keep forcing Chris onto you guys. Play Chris, he's better now. <laughs> but everybody's got their, uh... Everybody's got fans of Jill. Or, um, this game has fans of Jill. Not that there's anything wrong with her. Alrighty, so and it doesn't matter because we'll be out of the box anyways. But it's a good idea. <laughs> Damn right I do, Damon. It's about Chris. Chris is the best. He punches boulders, yo. It's fucking good shit. Uh, but anyways, make sure you have an, a, a single item slot, you know, ready for when you have to go fight these stupid ass dogs, just because they don't let you drop the whistle until you leave the um, leave the room. So, Vix, I know you've never seen this game before. You've only seen the newer ones, but you'll notice that the camera is very static, and then. Um, <laughs> but you'll notice that the camera angles are, are, are static and the graphics are pre-rendered, so it looks uh, probably a lot more impressive than it is. But I love I love the pre-rendered stuff. Damn right, Chris wants to bring the pain. <laughs> so, and I like to fight the dogs near the uh, super herbs and whatnot down here. I think you can use them three times, and that's it. Do I need to talk louder, Ryan, or what's up? Well, how's it sound to everybody else? Because if I need to turn the game sound down, then I will, and I'll just turn up uh, the mic. But I don't want to be too loud. I don't want to yell into the mic. So that's the end of the dogs. Now you can get rid of the, the dog whistle. Sorry, I know I don't like uh, I don't like stopping the play, but just a little bit. How's that? A little bit better? All right, time to do a little bit more knife trick. Looks like he wants to play already, man. Shit. This is going to get really annoying because the camera is going to change a lot, so I apologize for the sake of saving ammo, since you guys know how I play. I would actually recommend not really trying to stab them until they throw up just because they should have a little bit of time. Because they need more time to worry about themselves than, uh, than you do. shins. What I hate is when two of them get on here. That used to be a giant pain in the ass for me when I was younger uh, playing this game. I'm not sure where I found out how to do this. I'm not sure if I read it somewhere or if like I just kind of screwed around one day. 
sure it was a combination of both. Now if I can, I'd like to get this zombie over here to... Oh. Come on, big boy. <laughs> there he comes. <laughs> Damn right, oh nine. Um, but Vix, uh, I know that this looks like it's really easy. It's actually not, but um, the zombies, due to the way the game works, actually can't grab you on the stairs. They can only do one attack. So it's kind of a... Uh, I don't want to call it like a glitch, but it's just a kind of an easy way to deal with some of these guys. Sometimes zombies can be a giant pain in the ass, and they soak up a lot of damage. That's not painfully obvious already. But I've never done a full knife run because I'm not Japanese. But that was also classic as people did with that. And have the stupid star technique for fighting the tyrant and things like that, which always was really impressive to me. Drop, little fuck. I do not recommend using my knife. Drop. Until now. Fall. Yeah, put your body on top of it. Hopefully I got them both. I hate when it does this. There we go. All right, good stuff. All right, Martin. How you been, by the way, man? You doing okay? And there's actually a zombie right here that you should torch also. Hopefully he won't get up. I, I don't think I actually read the instruction manual or anything like that. And I'm running around, and then, you know, you kill a zombie, and then you're running around, and I was like, oh, it's cool, you know, the zombies are still on the floor, that's awesome. And then they fucking got up again, and, you know, the fuckers are running around. I was like, oh, shit, like, I fucked up. Bad. But whatever. It's good stuff. That anymore. I actually don't believe I need to knife anymore. That's usually the last ones I knife. And I start running around with the other weapons. <laughs> Sorry, I just got an IM that made me laugh. So you actually can't go through that door, but since you have the lock pick, there's no reason why you can't go in here. Now you can actually pick up the broken shotgun in here, and you can actually still solve the little, I guess you can call it a shotgun puzzle. Um... But um, if you do that, then you can kind of access other berry scenes. I believe there's five of them, and I actually had to look that up because there was one scene in particular... <clears throat> excuse me. There was one scene in particular that I wanted to get, and I got it, and it really wasn't worth it. Um, I'm doing really well, actually. A lot of the stuff I've been working on for my website and everything's been coming, coming together really nicely, so... Trying to think of other zombies that I'm gonna end up killing. Oh, wait, I need the, the key usually does help. Alright, so let's grab new key. One of the other things that I really like about this game, other than everything, is I do like the zombies being able to open certain doors and stuff like that. Yeah, character movement's a, a lot... it's different, for sure. Like, tank controls. It takes some getting used to, and I think that was one of the problems that a lot of people had, because sometimes the camera angles intentionally obscure what you're, you're fighting, so you kind of just have to learn from playing the game, so... I never really played any Tomb Raider.
But I encourage everybody to stick around after the game is done so I can show you guys some really cool stuff. So hang in there. Is that the one where she's like younger? I may be I may be thinking incorrectly. Oops, I need to make that up. Cool stuff. Uh, no, about this game? No, actually it's about um, another game in the series. But um, I love the way that zombie looks at the end of the hallway. That's good stuff. I actually need to get down there, but not at the moment. But I'll wait. I'll wait to get rid of him. Poor Kenneth down there still. But if you can't stick around, Mark, I, I would encourage anybody that can't stick around for the whole thing to, to wait or um, to watch the replay at some point. So that you guys can see uh, what I have at the end, and um, when I when it's uploaded or I guess auto saved, I'll um, I'll put like a timestamp on it so that anybody that watches the replay can um, can just go right to it. So this crimson head right here, I actually don't believe that you can do much of a bow as far as preventing him from getting up. But once you pick this herb up, he'll get up. Also, I think if you try to access the door. Vic, since you've never seen this game, what Crimson Heads are are zombies that you've killed. Or I guess there, there's some that are just laying around, but they get up. They can run as opposed to just walk and shamble. Um, they do a lot more damage. They can claw at you. It's really uh, interesting stuff. I used to accidentally put the wrong key back, and I used to get so frustrated when I start the game when I was younger. So fucking OCD I am. I should. I actually saw somebody on YouTube that, I guess they were playing, I don't know if they were playing like a PC port or they were emulating it, but they they managed to give themselves two items that allowed them to skip everything, and then it actually made the game really short. Uh, they needed the two seals to open up the doors behind the stairs, which some of you may not know what the hell I'm talking about. Um, but it shows just how short this game really is if you were to just get those items right away. It's interesting stuff. Okay, so I know what I'm gonna do now. So I need to pick up an item I left. Now I'm gonna swing back around. I'm gonna go up those stairs. Grab the item from that. No, go this way. I've played this game way too much. And that's just the map up there. You don't really need to pick that up. Well, I mean, I don't know. If you're new, then maybe you want to get the map. Um, I just say memorize the rooms. Fun note, the dogs will not attack until you grab the herbs. Um, and I really don't need the herbs, so...
now Barry's gone ahead and given us some free stuff. And now, um, something I didn't know when I was younger uh, was that the the number of times you save and the health sprays are actually tied together. So if you don't save, you can actually use more first aid sprays than you think. state sprays because I like to keep my score as high as possible. Gee, you should get rid of s'mores, man. Really? That's interesting. I didn't mean to get you that excited. Right. Anyway, you should read this. Research as well. Good stuff. I highly encourage you guys, if you play this game, to read all the stuff. What do you make of it? Well, I guess we were right about this mansion being quite unnatural. You have a way with understatements. Where's the part that's torn off? Well, my only guess is that it was the most important part, and somebody didn't want anyone to see it. Let's continue our investigation. Lots. But if you do it this way, you can you don't need to have three. No, don't push the button. Then you can just uh, combine these two items right here. Good stuff. Just gotta plan ahead. We should go back there, put the real B over here. Sweet, sweet magnum. And somehow this bee comes back. <laughs> it's fine, I do that one. There's a fly in there. That's all you need. Um, I don't think she does, but I do like that in the first one. He's like, what? What is it? It's just pretty funny. And this is a writer of action. I want this. Vix, in this game there are three different types of herbs that you can pick up, and um, they're all like recovery items. The green one will heal your your health, the blue one, a uh, blue herb will heal your poison, and a red one will increase the effects of the green one. So if you take like, a green one and a red one and combine them, it'll give you full health. So it's really good to find the, the uh, red ones. Don't need this crest until a little later. Uh, but let's swing on back now that we've taken care of that. And now that we've got the armor key, we can do that small section with Richard. Yeah, exactly. Um, and they form Voltron. <laughs> um, actually, let's do this puzzle. So yeah, they they kept a lot of the um the same stuff.
the way those things slide up, it makes them sound like they weigh like 300 pounds. Those little bars that are blocking in this little mystery box. Alright, and so... I believe we need... This one, and... This one. Here we go. Death mask. Good stuff. I still need... There's a lot of things I need to do. The game... God, it takes... It feels like you're building everything up to just getting the damn armor key, and then you can start running around in all the rooms. So, I'm gonna do a little bit of backtracking. Just making sure I put these things in my item boxes and stuff like that. I actually managed to beat this one time with the boxes not being connected, and that was a real pain in the ass. Um, the only mode I never beat on this game was uh, the invisible enemy mode. That was uh, that was really difficult, but it was a lot of fun because you use the mirrors that are placed here and there to see the enemies. I hope the video is not cutting out. Right, let's get rid of that. Actually, no, because if we're gonna go. surviving um, Bravo team members. Sorry, my mind just blanked for a second. Florida, when it used to rain, my internet used to go crazy in one of my apartments. That was a giant pain in the ass. Richard! What happened? You're wounded! This whole place is a killing zone. There are monsters. <laughs> what did this to you? A big snake. And it had to be poisonous. Poisonous? Richard, hold on. Bring me serum. I saw some, but didn't bring any. I'll go and get it, okay? You're gonna make it. Thanks. Pick up the X collection. You can thank Ryan for that, man. Right up there, man. Or Hill. He was the one who played it for you guys. So if that wasn't recorded. He actually did play that. So he's gonna um, hopefully at some point do some some classic Mega Man, and then I know Sauce wants to run uh, SNES Legend of Zelda, and then we can you guys can have more drunk fun. So what's going on, hundred? Fresh people up in here. Oh, look out. What's he doing here? Whatever. Fuck. <laughs> now this I like. The zombie will uh, he'll open that door right there. And he should still have the knife in his head if I'm not mistaken. Forget how many enemies are in this next room. So we're gonna we're gonna be going a little bit more retro in the next couple of weeks. So we'll we'll see what happens. It's 
all right. You know, sometimes playing the, those classic games, it can't. It's not as visually appealing sometimes. But whatever, not a big deal. <laughs> Cheapest. <laughs> all right, free shotgun shells. Good stuff. Unlike the uh, the classic game where you chew through all your shotgun shells and magnum shots on fucking hunters and stuff. God, fuck that game. That game was rowdy, man. Yep, technically this is a classic. So we found a baby bird out here earlier today. Oh, so that asshole's gonna get up. So let's pick this up. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe there is shotgun ammo in there, and I'm gonna be dumb enough to try to grab it. So let's uh let's have some fun, shall we? <laughs> bad. Whatever. Got free ammo and a free good defense item, so. Let's unlock this door. And... Let me think. Let me think. Okay, I'm gonna put some of this stuff back because I'd like to grab some things, kill the zombie in the other room. I won't need to worry about those two zombies because I won't have to run through here very often. For me, it's all about trying to clean up a lot of the shit that's in these hallways so that I can run through as quickly as possible. Ryan, do you think you can beat six of them in one sitting? I don't doubt your powers, I'm just saying. Okay, right, I'm gonna need a lighter because I really don't want to deal with that one zombie because he always fucking turns crazy on me. So let's handle that one in the hallway from the very beginning. did come out of the closet, so I think one of them's gay. See what, see what I did there? Because he, like, he, like, came out of the closet. Did I grab... Okay, you didn't. <laughs> I was like, wait, did I grab everything? Oh, shit, wait, the serum! <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, fuck Richard. <laughs> I'm all fucking screwing around. Well, hopefully he's not dead. Zombies just chill right in the most opportune place, but you know why that doesn't matter. Uh, oh, get off. I really need to get back to Richard. Lots of stream, man. <laughs> Fucking talk about everything. <laughs> oh, man, I hope I didn't kill Richard. I'm going to feel bad. So I'm like just trying to run through the game and I'm not even thinking about what I'm doing.
Here, Richard. I'm gonna give you a shot. Hang in there. Jill. Here's my radio. <laughs> so Take it. <laughs> I'm... <laughs> Does it ever not hurt? Yeah, I saved Richard. <laughs> Yay, Richard. I'm okay. The others... There's actually a very good reason to save him. You do get the uh, super secret special shotgun from him, so... Alright, so... I feel better now that... And... I actually don't have the knife for that. Pumpkin cream cheese brownies later. God, this game looks so awesome. <laughs> Ask nicely when they're done. All right. Okay, now let me think. I think all the things that I need to do. Uh, I'm going to save that one for last because I don't need to go through there just yet. That's yawn the second time. Chocolate coma? What the hell is that? Actually, I have a really funny story about the first time uh, I was in college. Uh, that was before I took a break and I went back. But um, at, uh, at Blinn in Brenham, Texas, which is fucking in the middle of nowhere, they used to have really, really good breakfast in the morning. And that was if I could stay up long enough. And Bonus used to keep me up long enough so that we could go. And it was like, oh, you can eat breakfast. But I remember, took uh, Cocoa Rice Krispies and like fucking... Or no, it was like Cocoa Pebbles and Cocoa Puffs. And then, uh, and then I got chocolate milk, and then I mixed them all together, and then I fucking, I ate that shit, and I got such a bad headache. I took like three bites, and it was so good, but the milk was black. It was so fucking chocolatey. Bonus will confirm this, if he uh, hops in the stream tonight. Okay, Just making sure that zombie's not out here again. <laughs> this is asshole. There he is. I'm actually gonna have to get this guy because. Damn, dude. Look at Zombie alone cost me three goddamn knives, you motherfucker. He's dead. Actually, I think I need the other key to get through there. <laughs> Ryan, your your inner fat kid's coming out, man. <laughs> Actually, let's go get rid of that one zombie out there. Wilford Brimley. <laughs> One, two, three. And I highly recommend reloading through the menu. Don't reload through the actual, like, don't let the game do it for you. It's 
funny is if you think about it, this fucking zombie is taking quite a few hits. He took, what, three Barry Magnum shots already? Use up these keys, shall we? Alrighty. Actually, I'll go in here. Why not? Fix. <laughs> I don't know if I don't know how good sex tastes. <laughs> Until later. So well, let's uh, get a little classic scene right here, shall we? Zombie's just trying to keep her in her place. Alright, and I can't get into there till I do that other thing later. But let's go back through here. What's going on, Joe? Am I too quiet for you? I'm sorry, I'm trying not to yell, but whatever. I know, I'm nine. I'm sorry, buddy. having a problem with the ball. The zombies on the outside are like, let me in. And as usual, there is, like I said, there's really not a reason to use first aid sprays and stuff because there are so many fucking herbs if you know where to look. And I actually think I put away just the right amount. Don't make it. I'm going to last one. Well, second of four masks. Okay, so when the game volume goes up, you guys can't hear me? So like when, okay, so there's a scene about to happen right here.
Okay. Thank you. Right, give me a second. Oi. Everything's going to be a little louder, so I'm going to turn down the game volume a bit. If something's too loud, let me know. But, uh, does that sound a little better? Try not to turn things up too, too loud because I don't want to blow your guys' ears off. And I'm generally so soft-spoken, so. But anyways, how's everyone's week been? You guys been doing okay? I know I've been doing well, so. Today was a good day. I didn't do much, but it was a good day. Although I did win a copy of uh, Turbo for 64, box and manual, for seven bucks. Fuck that guy that tried to take it from me. It was mine. Actually, I'm not even going to go that way anymore. I'm going to go the long way around. Turok. Dinosaur Hunter. that series for as, as corny as it was and you know I mean it came out during the 64 era and it was overshadowed by GoldenEye and like up the ass. I, I still really enjoyed those games. I'm sure a lot of other people did too. The music was great in those games. You guys should look it up sometime. I think probably my favorite song from the whole series is the very first stage in uh in two. I think it's called like the Port of Ardia or something like that. You guys should look it up sometime. <laughs> you batarangs. Alright, so this is actually one of the scenes that you can't... Well, actually, we're not going to get to see the scene, but um, if you don't trigger any of the other berry scenes, you can actually come here and there's a scene where there's a whole bunch of stuff in the forest. But, unfortunately, uh, you will get a stat of just a roll. Just her. got quite a bit of, I would say he has a fan following for being a dead guy, um, and actually having forest mode, which I haven't unlocked on this memory card, um, is a lot of fun. He won't get up unless you go and grab um, the herbs that are in the back, and he's actually a really tough zombie, and I really don't feel like dealing with him right now. Um, I believe he's the same as a crimson head, except he doesn't uh, swing at you, but his bites do a lot of damage. But uh, getting forest mode is actually a lot of fun. Now I have the grenade launcher, which is a very, very good weapon. Unfortunately, Chris doesn't get it. He just gets a shotgun, magnum, handgun, knife. Pretty basic stuff. In forest mode, what happens is, uh, forest will randomly, well, I don't want to say randomly, uh, he will replace, um, see if I had the knife right here I could just knife the shit out of him, but whatever. Um, he'll replace zombies that you can't see. So basically like that zombie that was just in this hallway right here, he randomly be forest because you can't see him. 
And then um, if he is Forrest, for instance, and it, and it does change, so sometimes you come into the room and it won't be him. But um, if it's him, he'll be actually, he'll be a zombie, and he runs constantly, and he actually has grenades strapped to him. And you can't uh, use defense items on him, and you can't, um, uh, and you can't shoot him or hit him in any way unless he goes up. Okay, sorry. I know that took a long time, but whatever. Do I need to turn down the game volume a little bit more? Sorry, I can't watch the, the stream chat while I'm doing stupid crap like that. Yeah, that's zombie manipulation right there. You just gotta kind of corral them. And then, uh, you can just, you know, it's better not to fire any shots. Alright, so let's go back downstairs and play the Moonlight Sonata, which is actually a really nice song. I used to listen to it quite a bit when I would, um, before my radio got stolen out of my car, I used to listen to classical music when I would come home, just because it would relax me. And Ryan actually says it makes him angry. <laughs> it's funny how music has different effects on people. Save, that's cool. There, that should be a little better. Can't pick that up because I think I got the other thing. Put that over there. Uh, I would damn it, but I really don't want him to dick with X Split right now. So thankfully, Joe knows how to play the piano. Because I would be fucked if I was in this mansion. Stupid ass thing. Sometimes zombies will come through that door. You can kind of hear them a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> he doesn't need to. He gets uh, he gets women to do it for him. Sexist. Oh man. All right, grab the gold plate, replace it. We're good to go. You can grab the George Trevor diary if you want to, which is actually a lot of fun. Um, and I, I know I've said all this shit like a million times before, but the George Trevor diaries were actually supposed to be in the original game, but they um, they thought that it kind of revealed too much too early on, and they didn't really want to do that, so they took them out. And uh, there was a book that people had begun to translate, and I think they just kind of gave up. But the Trevor Diaries are actually a lot of fun. Kind of hearing about it, this, this poor bastard who helped build this place getting trapped in it. Thank you. I like when the lightning does that, because it's not scripted at all. It's been a while since I've played that. Uh, last time I played it was actually on stream, so that tells you something. So we're technically going to fight the first boss, but we're not going to fight him. <laughs> oh, that's right. Okay. Thank you. And I'm not sure if it's here... With okay, I guess not with Jill. Jill is a big Richard, he didn't leave when I did. 
which kind of sucks, but I'm not actually going to fight that boss. Come back there. Uh, I do believe the super shotgun is in there. I'm not entirely sure, though. That ass will get there. You know what? Let's go see. Let's see if that shotgun's in there. The Walking Dead. I bet I have to kill him to get it. Oh well, fuck. Are so you really? Please tell me you're joking. Well, I guess in fairness, could be any worse than fucking two. All right, I can never remember this damn puzzle because I don't do it enough. All right. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. No. It needs to be purple. That's not purple. That is like pink or some shit. Okay. This is a lot e Well, I mean, both the puzzles are relatively easy. And then this one should be purple. There we go. I do like me some aliens. Alright, so... I should grab the other masks. I really don't want to have to run into this room and... and... Dodge these fucking zombies and shit. Whatever. Let's go. Enough bitching. Oh, don't worry. Well, you guys are gonna get, uh... Ah. Ooh, look at that dodge. That <laughs> Don't worry, once I've got my, my thing video out, that that'll be the end of that. Because <laughs> clearly when I say it sucks, that's that's when it's official. <laughs> Okay, so... 
that. For all intents and purposes, we won't take... Actually, you know what? Yeah, let's grab that. <laughs> I forget how many times you need to go through this door before the, the doorknob breaks. I think this is the last time I can go through it. May not be able to dodge them this time. Let's try it. Fuck. <laughs> so if you get the puzzle wrong in this room, the crows uh, up there will uh, will attack, and they aren't too bad to deal with. A little little annoying, but whatever. I love fucking Kurt Russell, dude. He's the only fucking man. Anyone here watch Spartacus? Anybody? Did you test his blood? <laughs> Did he show you what he already knew? This fight's a little, can be a little bit easier because you can uh, uh, do the little grenade trick where you allow him to grab you while you're going to distract you. So you can stop the attack and he's going to up. Technically the second boss you fight. Not too rough. I love the grenade launcher. It's so bad. Whiskers. Um, actually, uh, George Trevor uh, designed uh, this uh, mansion and the traps on the request of uh, Oswald Spencer. This place is actually called the Spencer Estate, if I'm not mistaken. Or the Spencer Mansion, excuse me. Um, but yeah, you, you figure all that stuff out um, through the diaries. Like, he talks about all the puzzles and things. And, uh, you can find some documents on the net also. But, sorry, I know that you meant that as like a joke <laughs> sauce, but... <laughs> Outside, which means I need to go back through there. God damn it. Dang on cash. Dodge these guys going through, but that's all right. Guys, trying to fucking get to a bathroom in this place. It's a little interesting fact for everybody. If you get grabbed from behind, you can't use your um uh, defense items. No 
last for you. <laughs> Fucking dream catcher, dud it. There's a battery. Here it is. That's really gross. <laughs> this is one of the uh, really great sections that they added into this game. Being able to go out into the back uh, of the mansion. You guys may remember me trying to do this stupid ass thing last time. Yeah, I guess it must be west then. You need them to face apart. That's the, the basic. Barry? Monster! James! Gun! Ineffective! It's it! Stay away! Forest outside the mansion! Stay! Hey! It's a little bit of ominous. Foreshadowing right there. Monster in chains. Probably my favorite creature in this game, other than the tyrant. should have grabbed the little medallion to get the magnum right away, but uh, I didn't remember it, so you can do it on the way back. <laughs> There's actually nothing wrong with the radio. It's good stuff. Normally if you have it, you can get the magnum right here, but I just didn't bring it because I'm a douche. So. Pre-rendered backgrounds are really great in these uh, these scenes with like the grass and the trees and everything. Yes, we can use one of these herbs. I might actually do it anyway. Yeah. Thank you for clearing the chat. I appreciate it. Yes, I will take the crank. First glimpse of Lisa Trevor. This is probably one of my. I think everybody really likes Lisa. This is a great, uh, great character.
guys have like maybe the samurai edge or the rocket launcher or whatever. If you have infinite anything, if you sit here and just pound on her, um, she'll she'll drop and then she'll get back up again. And if uh, if you look at her close enough, whenever you she's around, you can actually see a G virus eyeball on her from Prison Level Two. So a lot of a uh, lot of stuff about her that that kind of they introduced in this game, which I really liked. Random zombie just kind of chilling out. Can actually go through the grass right there. She's a great character. <laughs> yeah. Stick the thing in the thing and get the back. Chat's broke. Oh well. There we go. Nice bag. He just means nobody's talking. Faces? I don't even know how the hell you do the faces, man. Do we have a little face on here, or do we have to download that? Any of you guys watching uh, Yipes stream right now? He's streaming, uh, streaming a pretty fun tournament. Everybody likes Yipes, so good uh, Marvel action. I'm not sure what they're playing at the moment. I just finished watching the New York, um, the New York something uh, team battle that they had before the stream started. So, oh, it is. Oh, okay. This is Brad. If you can hear me, just give me a sign. Anything. Jill to Brad. Can you hear me? Shit. It's broken. Doggies, doggies everywhere. Them dogs, man. Dogs are actually a lot worse in this game than they are in any of the others. Just because they're not really uh, phased by the rounds. I love that pre-rendered water, man. It's good stuff. Cool. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Stick around if you can, because I'm going to show some some fun stuff after uh, after this game. So I'm actually excited to show that. But I can also put this game on my list of complete. Jill run, Chris run, good stuff. Fuck these goddamn snakes out here. When they show up, god damn, dude, I get bit by them every goddamn time. <laughs> My cross. <laughs> Birds. Yeah, 
In total? Oh, jeez. I don't know. Um, God, a long time ago, I could say that I've done everything except invisible enemy mode. Since I've lost that memory card, I think it's in storage, actually. Um, I've beaten it once, I think, with Chris and Jill on the new memory card. Sorry, guys. Tried to give you a bit of a little, uh, bit of Jill ass. Yes, blue herbs. Sometimes I think these are a little rarer than the, the red ones. Alright, so now we're in the second portion of... Stun gun. Red herb, blue herb, blue herb. Put the magnum away. Man, we're gonna put this away. Let's see here. I actually don't believe I need the crank at any point in here. So we'll just set that right there. Whoop, what I do. You guys watching those new South Parks? What you guys, what you guys think? Me and Ryan think they were a little lackluster, but okay, better than last seasons. You don't have to be perfect with this box right here, um, as long as you get it into place. Um, if you go.